Extreme Trends presents A veteran receives an amber alert of a missing girl while driving, then sees the vehicle right in front of him. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. They say bravery is a virtue, but well, it's actually a gift. The number of people willing to help someone in need is far less than the number of people who would just record the problem on their phones. It takes more than only the courage to help a person in his time of distress. And sadly, many of us have lost our feelings of empathy and selflessness. We would sit back and watch a robber mug someone old or helpless rather than stand up to him and chase him away. But as said before, a portion of people would willingly help somebody out. U.S. military veteran Steve Adams found himself in a situation like this where he had to act sensibly and diligently. His military experience, sense of responsibility, and vigilance helped him rescue a poor girl from possible jaws of God knows what consequences. Steve was in Ohio, spending his day like he always does. He casually turned on the radio expecting to hear something good, let's say a good song or pleasant news, but suddenly an announcement caught his attention. He listened attentively to the report, which turned out to be an amber alert for a girl who had been kidnapped. After receiving the signal, Steve began to look out for further updates on the distress call. He also started looking at the license plates of all the cars passing by him thoroughly. As an ex-army officer, Steve knew what it meant for a family to bear with the grief of a missing child. After a few minutes, what happened was something he wasn't expecting, but was ready to face. As Steve was thinking about the kidnapper's next move, he saw a little girl wave her hand to him. The veteran was surprised, but after a moment he was blown away. The little girl who had waved her hand to Steve matched the abducted girl's description. The driver matched the kidnapper's description mentioned in the Amber Alert. Furthermore, the car in the warning was described as a 2011 Black Impala, with license plate number G6116U. Steve was astonished to see the vehicle fit the description perfectly. Steve was surprised, but he did not panic. He quickly dialed 911 while he tailgated the car from a distance to remain unsuspicious. The first call taker had no information about the call and transferred Adam over to the sheriff's department. The sheriff had no idea about the request as well. Steve described the car and the driver to the sheriff, and the information was confirmed. Steve stayed behind the car all the time while providing information to the officials continuously. After a short while, cops pulled the vehicle over and arrested the suspect without any incidents. As horrifying as it may sound, the kidnapper turned out to be Tyler Enix, the little girl's father from Tennessee. He had murdered his wife and kidnapped his two-year-old daughter, Brooklyn. He tried to flee from the state when Steve Adams spotted him. The county sheriff, on the confirmation, dispatched units to catch up to the suspect and arrest him. Tyler was arrested and transferred to the county correctional facility. The news regarding the murder of Kimberly, Brooklyn's mother, came just in time to save the toddler. After she did not show up for work, officers went to her house in Templeton Court condos for a welfare check. They found her dead body in her residence, but her two-year-old daughter was not there. Assuming that Kimberly's former husband had killed her and abducted their daughter, an Amber Alert was issued. It described Tyler Enix as 6'2", a bald man, and a two-year-old baby, three feet high, and 38 pounds. This incident made the TBI add Tyler's name to the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation's top 10 most wanted list. After the news of Kimberly's murder reached the officials, cops released an immediate Amber Alert for Tyler and the public to alert them if they see the suspicious vehicle or the man with the kid. Knoxville Police Chief David Roush said, History shows the longer an abducted child remains missing, the greater the danger of that missing child. He also showed concern for Tyler, saying they would be glad if he turned himself over. He alerted the public in the warning by advising them to get the kid to safety. Bring Brooklyn to someone safe. Take her to someone safe. Take her to a hospital. Take her to a fire hall. Drop her off with someone safe. Roush was particularly anxious about Tyler's flee from the country. He said in an interview, they could be anywhere in the country at this point. We're making sure he hasn't attempted to travel outside the country. After Tyler was arrested, he was deported back to Tennessee. Charges held against Tyler were a first-degree murder, abduction, and fleeing. That was not the first time Tyler had been arrested for a gruesome crime. In 2001, he pleaded guilty of harassment and stalking of his former wife, which earned him a year of jail time as stated by Blount County Records. Again, in December of 2004, he attacked his ex-girlfriend after she broke up with him, and he was arrested on charges of domestic assault. According to records, Tyler was arrested and found guilty for aggravated assault back in October of 2010. He was sentenced to prison for four years. There is no record of the duration of his sentence, but it was found that he was released in mid-July of 2014. After her recovery, Brooklyn was taken to a hospital for a medical checkup, which showed everything was fine, where Kimberly's family grieved the murder of their beloved daughter. They were glad to hear that Brooklyn had been found. 
the kid was kept in the custody of the children's services until arrangements for her reunion with Kimberly's family were made. Everyone around the country honored the courageous officer for his bravery and thoughtfulness at the time of the distress. Steve's bravery and his strong character is a lesson for all of us to learn. While a lot of people ignore these calls, they do not know they could be the first ones to spot them. We need to develop a sense of responsibility and bravery among us to fight the evils in our society and stop them from growing too strong. Thanks for watching until the end. Be sure to tap the next videos on your screen and stay tuned for another interesting story. Goodbye!